So let's just see how we can detect cycle in a directed graph using the DFS. So DFS means we need the stack which will keep track of the visited node and also help us in backtracking. So we're gonna use these flags here negative 1 means unvisited node, 0 means the node is visited and that is in our stack, 1 means the node is visited and that is out of the stack. So initially all the nodes are unvisited so their flag will be negative 1. And also we need the parent map to track the vertex and their parent. And also we're gonna keep track of the visited nodes. So we're gonna start the traversal from this node A. So we're gonna mark this as visited. Push that on the top of our stack. The vertex A, the parent is null because that is the starting point. And the flag will be modified to 0. Next we can either visit B or we can visit D. So let's now visit D. So that means we're gonna mark this as visited. Push that in our stack. So the vertex is D, the parent is A. So we have to modify the flag to 0. Now from here we have no head to go. So now we have to backtrack to the parent node. So that means we're gonna pop D from the stack. And also we have to modify the flag to 1. So that is visited and out of stack. Now we are back to the node A. Now from here we're gonna visit B. So we're gonna mark B as visited. Push that in our stack. So the vertex B has the parent A. We're gonna modify the flag to 0. So next we're gonna visit C. We're gonna mark this as visited. Push that in our stack. So the parent of C is B. We're gonna modify the flag to 0. Now from C we can take this edge and we can reach to the node A. Now because we are visiting one node which has the flag 0. So that means we have detected cycle in our graph. So we have found the cycle while visiting from C to A. So here C has the parent B, so B to C and B has the parent A. So we are back to A. So that means if we start from A to B, then if we visit from B to C, then from C we can reach back to the node A. And here is our cycle in our graph. Thank you.